I'm joined now by a man enjoying his first BAFTAs, Dominic Sessa. Good evening, congratulations Good evening. on the holdovers. How are you feeling tonight? Excited, like slightly overwhelmed, I'd say, yeah. but just taking it all in. I mean, it's, these kind of things are few and far between for anyone, and I guess this being my first film, it's that extra layer of like excitement and craziness. So just trying to keep it together. I got my mom here with me today, so that's helping a little bit, you know? <laughs> so I'm just really happy, honestly. I mean, I'm sure you've heard it before. I'm not the first person to say this, but I mean, for your debut feature, what a performance. Thank you. Congratulations, oh, Angus thanks. Tully, an amazing character. Um, is it, is it kind of still a bit surreal then, like the whole process and having people coming up to you and going, I loved you in the whole time? Oh yeah, I mean, I think this whole other side of it, I really can't believe like having filmed this two years ago that this is still a part of my life in this way, you know? I think everybody's hope is just to get the movie made and, and get it out there and get people to see it. And then when you get reception like this, it's like, wow, we, we actually did something cool. And yeah, it's to have people come up to you and they're affected by our performance or something you did. That's, it's really crazy and I've never experienced that before. Talk me through, because I believe like it wasn't easy to get this role. It was, uh, I think, 800 people uh, around that number. Uh, yeah, that's the number I think they say, yeah. 800 people were seen for the role of Angus. Mm. Talk me through the moment when you get the call. Was it a call? Was it a meeting when you finally find out that they cast <laughs> you in this? Well, I mean, at this point, when I finally got it, I had probably been auditioning for like a month and a half at this point. And then I had one final Zoom call. I didn't know it would be my last audition. I just knew I was going to meet with Paul and Alexander. So I knew it was at least an important one. <laughs> um, and Paul and I sat there for two hours straight and just read the entire script together while Alexander listened. And then immediately after, he didn't give me any notes or any advice or anything. He just said, come be in my movie. And I was like, I was in my, you know, my bedroom at home. My mom was at the grocery store, I called her. It was just the most surreal moment of my life, really. Oh, incredible. Yeah. And how is it working with Paul Giamatti? I mean, the, mm. the relationship, Divine Joy Randolph, yeah. Paul uh, Giamatti and yourself, this sort of, this makeshift family they form in the movie. Totally. Well, what was it like working with Paul and Divine? I think for both of them, a lot of people, when they're asking about working with them, they're kind of assumed that it's something really challenging, you know, like working up against these really accomplished, accredited actors. But I, I kind of look at it the opposite way. Working with them, because they're such masters, in my opinion, makes it easier for someone like me. Just the way, the, when they look at you, you immediately believe them. You know, there's, there's no lie behind their eyes. So I think working with really extraordinary actors like that, for someone who's unexperienced, really, it's, it really helps you, you know, step up to that level. And I guess one final question, because the holdovers just really seems to have connected mm. with people. People are finding it a, a, a beautiful, heartfelt yeah. movie. What do you think it is that has really connected with audiences so much with this film? I think it, in one way or another, I think most people have had an experience where they've met someone or someone has entered in their life that they had no expectations of, of kind of forming a relationship with, and it, you surprise yourself. And, I think, if anything, this shows us that more often than not, we can continue to surprise ourselves with the people we allow inside and, and allow, to, you know, show ourselves to. So I think that's really the important takeaway, generally speaking, you know. Okay, so debut feature, nominated for a BAFTA tonight. Yes, sir. Have fun, man. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. No Thanks worries. A lot. I'm joined now by star of the holdovers, the wonderful Paul Giamatti. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. Very good. Yeah. Yes. I was just saying, it's lovely to be in this city yeah. for this kind of event. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, it's lovely to have you here. Ed. Thank you. Congratulations on the holdovers. Thank you. Uh, weirdly, I just spoke to Dominic Sessa. Uh-huh. Uh, he's amazing in this film. Right. I mean, you have a lot of experience. This is his debut feature. Incredible, right? Right. You, I never would have known it. He was so naturally professional. He was amazing. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And I, I, I was just saying to him, 800, 800 applicants or yeah. people were seen for that role and it finally came yeah. down to him. Absolutely. He was amazing. He was the perfect person for it. There was no one else who could have done what he did. He's amazing. It's funny that you say that because um, I uh, heard Alexander Payne say that this movie doesn't exist without you. Like uh -huh. there was no other actor who could play Paul Hunnam. <laughs> Play a man who smells like fish. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible alcoholic who smells like fish. That's me. 
<laughs> if you need somebody, yep, absolutely. But, but my question is, did he tell you that on that first phone call when he spoke to you? Because that's quite a lot of pressure. It's like, this movie doesn't happen if you <laughs> don't say yes. Well, that's, I mean... It's nice of him to say. I don't know that that's true, but it's nice of him to say. He didn't say that to me. I'd do anything he wanted me to do. So all he has to do is call me, and he doesn't need to tell me anything. I'll do anything he wants me to do. He's the best director I've ever worked with. And was it, I mean, obviously you worked with him in Sideways. Was it just like, were you immediately back yes. to shorthand? Yes, completely. It was there's some kind of funny overlap. We just see the world the same way. It's very rare that that happens, but we don't need to say anything to each other. We just do it. It's fantastic. This movie, I was just saying before we started, yeah. I, I, I had the, the privilege to watch it in the run-up to Christmas. Yeah. People are talking about this like it's a brand new Christmas classic. Yeah, which is great. I'm glad. I think that's fantastic. That's a nice thing. It is more in the vein of like It's a Wonderful Life or something like that, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, and it does. I mean, it's been said before, but... It feels like a movie that was made in the 70s, yes. sealed in a time capsule, yes. and has now finally been revealed yeah. to the world. That's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. And how is it for you? I mean, obviously you've been in so many movies, had so many great performances, awards. Does this movie feel special for you? Yes. I mean, I think part of it is doing a movie with him again after 20 years. Is there's a nice, it completes a kind of circle in my life. So, I mean, I, I, I feel like I've come somewhere and landed again <laughs> in this comfortable place. So that's nice. And then I just feel like it's such a nice movie. It's not, I've never been in anything else quite like it. So it's very special feeling. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Well, uh, congratulations on all the nominations, Thanks. including your own. Are you looking forward to the rest of your Very evening? much so. Yes, it's very exciting. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Well, have a great night. Lovely to Thanks. see you, Paul. Nice to see you. Thanks, Thank man. You. Thank you. I'm joined now by Divine Joy Randolph. How are you this evening? I'm doing wonderful. I'm so excited to be here. This is your first BAFTAs, yeah, right? Yeah, this is my first. Yeah. What's it been like just getting here, the atmosphere? Oh, it's great energy. Everyone's so lovely and excited. You can feel a buzz. It's wonderful. I'm so grateful to be here. And obviously, uh, I've seen your co-stars are here as well, Dominic mm -hmm. Sessa and Paul Giamatti. Yeah. I have seven nominations for the holdovers, including your supporting yeah. actress nomination. I'm so excited. Tell me what it it's was a, like. It's because it's a different experience when it's not just your category, but when you're involved in a project where, for a large part of it across the board, people are connecting with and the other characters, the other elements of making the movie. It's just, it means a lot. And we get to really enjoy and have fun doing it together. Mm. You know, so it, it makes it all the better. Oh, well, it is such a beautiful little makeshift family the three of you create on Thank the screen. You. Did it translate off screen as well? I mean, was that the environment? Oh, yeah, we, we had an amazing chemistry. Um, everyone was so kind, no egos. Paul is a dream. I, I, it, I think it honestly made the project be more enriched because of it. And when you found out about your nomination, do you remember where you were? They asked me this. I don't remember where I was. <laughs> I need to ask my publicist where I was. I mean, thankfully, we've been all over the place doing lots of stuff. I don't remember where I was. I almost want to say I was here in London. Okay. I think I was doing press, but I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but does it mean a lot to you to see this character recognized oh, in course, this way? Of course, of uh, course, because it's an everyday woman who has such a great impact on the world, it means a lot. I mean, sure. you carry both really powerful emotional <coughs> scenes and some very funny moments Thank as well. You. This must be when you read that script by David Hemmingson. It was quite exciting. It was quite exciting. I knew that there was something very special on my hands with this project. It was really, really riveting. And it would be remiss of me not to mention the other great movie you're in this year, Rustin. Oh, yes. Home and Domingo, what a vision. Oh my gosh. Yeah, what a vision. How He's good phenomenal. is he in that film? Unbelievable. It's his time. I'm so I'm so thrilled for him. So thrilled. And, and in general, I mean, the holdovers, you know, Barbie, Oppenheimer, all these movies, like, it's been a great year for film, apart from... I think so. I feel like it's been a very strong year this year. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. Are there, apart from your own movie, let's put the mm -hmm. holdovers to one side, are there any movies you'd like to see rewarded that have been nominated tonight? Uh, All of Us Strangers. Oh. Special. So good, isn't it? Yeah. These gentlemen in particular do some really, really specific work. It's really phenomenal. Uh, Divine, it's so lovely to talk Thank to you. you. I hope you have a great night and good luck Thank out you. there. Thank you so much.